Okay, some Federal Reserve officials have spooked investors this week with their more hawkish stance on inflation fighting. Let's bring in Wells Fargo senior macro strategist Zach Griffiths for more insight on this. Zach, good to see you here. Lots of hawkish Fed speak this week. Have you been surprised? I haven't been surprised, and I think Fed speakers have been extremely consistent lately in their emphasis on fighting inflation. The minutes yesterday really emphasized that they are clearly zeroed in on this. The balance sheet runoff is going to start. In May, it's going to be a bit more aggressive, at least at the beginning, than we expected. And clearly, Fed officials are willing to raise the policy rate 50 basis points. That's what we expect them to do in May as well. Um, Zach, it's Julie here. We then had uh, James Bullard this morning of the St. Louis uh, Federal Reserve Bank. Um, and his comments were interesting. On the one hand, he said that the Fed is 300 basis points uh, behind. But he says the Fed's behind the curve, but not as much as it might seem because of the move that we've seen in the two-year. I'm just curious what your reaction is to his, his commentary. That makes sense to me. You've almost seen the market tighten policy for them by pricing in so much tightening through the end of this year and into next year. So I think that their communication is already starting to have an impact on the economy and financial conditions, and that's what they want. They really need to tighten things up a bit to bring inflation down that's been extremely high, and we expect next week's CPI to remain extremely elevated, but part of that is due to the commodity pressure that we've seen from the war in Ukraine. But at the end of the day, you've seen tightening in the market already. You've seen the curve flatten a ton, and we think it can flatten more from here. Zach, do you think the Fed uh, will have difficulty uh, just engineering a soft economic landing? I think it's a difficult thing to do and historically has been very challenging, hasn't really been the precedent that they're able to do that. And when you think about all the cross currents in the market with inflation so elevated, they have to tighten policy very quickly to address that in the near term. And then you have geopoli uh, geopolitics uncertainty with the war in Ukraine. So it's a very difficult backdrop. I don't envy the Fed's position right now, but I think at this point, their main focus is fighting inflation and slowing down demand. Um, if indeed we are seeing the outlook for tightening mostly priced into the markets, and when you say the markets, I'm assuming you're talking mostly about the bond market. What about the feed through to the equity market? Has it adequately priced in what, what's going on? It's hard to say. I've been a bit surprised on how resilient the equity markets have been, but our colleagues in equity strategy price target for the end of this year is 47.15. So they think that equities can rise a bit still. And at the end of the day, the Fed's policy tightening is going to have a delayed impact on the economy. It takes time for that to filter through. So I think that equities remaining buoyant from here probably can be the case for at least some time. But at the end of the day, once the Fed has delivered on all of these rate hikes that we currently expect, that's going to have an impact and probably puts downward pressure on equities. And you bring a, uh, up a very good point, Zach. It does. There is a lag uh, between the Fed uh, going out there, increasing rates and the impact it does have in the economy. Uh, do you think the lag effect will ultimately cause a recession in the latter half of next year? That's not our call right now, but I'd say the odds of recession are rising with the policy rate, quite frankly. Our colleagues in economics have recession at a 30 percent chance between now and the end of next year. So not particularly high, but definitely a non-zero probability. All right, we'll leave it there for now. Wells Fargo senior macro strategist Zach Griffiths, always good to see you. We'll talk to you soon.